In this video, five reasons why you should post your photos on YouTube and not on Instagram. Reason number one, big screen, big impression. One thing that always bugged me with Instagram and the other mobile apps is that they force you as a photographer to make work for a tiny, tiny, tiny little screen. I mean, photography is meant to be viewed on a big screen or in a large format of some sort. And if you post your photography as YouTube videos, actually a pretty large proportion of your audience will look at them on a big screen, either on a desktop computer or on an iPad or on their TV set. But if you only post on Instagram, pretty much everyone will see your photos in a very, very tiny format. And that makes me sad. Reason number two. YouTube can earn you some serious money and it's a lot harder to earn money on Instagram if you're a photographer. I earn a living from YouTube. I make money from the ads, I make money from affiliate links, like when I link to my cameras and my lenses and stuff like that. That is some serious income. I also make some brand deals now and then and that's also a really good income stream. And you can do lots of things on YouTube to earn money. But on Instagram, it's a lot harder, at least if you're not like a fitness influencer or something. I earn a little bit of money on Instagram, but it's very, very small amounts compared to what I make on YouTube. And let's face it, in 2023, there is no other platform like YouTube if you want to make money from your work. Reason number three. You will find a bigger audience on YouTube than you will on Instagram and YouTube's algorithm will help you find that audience. Many of the most successful photographers on Instagram, they were there early, like in 2012 or something. And in those days you could get a lot of followers from Instagram's algorithm. You could be placed on the like recommended accounts page and so on. But in 2023, it's really, really hard to grow on Instagram by just posting photos. Take me, for example. I've been active on Instagram for a lot longer than I've been on YouTube. Still, I have four times as many followers on YouTube than I have on Instagram. And most of my followers on Instagram are actually people who found me on YouTube and then went to follow me on Instagram because they knew me from YouTube. And I posted exactly the same photos on YouTube as I did on Instagram. The only difference is that I camouflaged my photos as photography tutorials on YouTube and on Instagram I just posted them. And then you might say, but Michael, it is possible to grow on Instagram if you just post lots of reels. But I find that if you're a photographer, it's really, really forced to post your work as a reel. It doesn't really fit. I mean, if I was a skateboarder or a dancer or a stuntman or something like that, then my work would fit perfectly with reels. But if you are a photographer, I, I mean, to me, it just feels forced. And let's face it, no matter how good your photos are, if you just post your photos on Instagram, you won't grow that much. Reason number four, tell your story through the photos. The simplest and best maybe way to post your photography on YouTube is as a simple slideshow. What I usually do is I uh, edit the photos in Lightroom Classic and then I use Lightroom Classic's slideshow feature to export the photos. Then you can add a simple border, you can even add the exposure as I often do, the EXIF data. And then you can export them as JPEGs and then just very easily import them in your editing tool. And then just do a voiceover where you talk about the photos. And each photo can be given as much time as is needed. Some photos maybe only need four seconds. Some photos maybe need 20 seconds. And you can talk over the photos as they progress. And they will be one coherent unit together with your story. Maybe you want to tell people how you took the photo. Maybe you want to give advice on how to take similar photos as I do. And maybe you just want to talk about the equipment you used. I mean, the choice is yours and it's a very nice format to show your work. Reason number five. It's easier than ever to make a YouTube video. The tools these days, the hardware and the software, it's so good that you would be surprised if you haven't tried yet. Modern iPads are so incredibly fast and even modern computers. 
And for example, if you're using an iPad, I can warmly recommend the tool LumaFusion, which is an editing software. It's very easy to get started. It's very easy to produce a video and the workflow is so smooth. On my Mac, I use uh, Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. And it's also a very nice software, very easy to use. It's pretty easy to get started, at least if you're doing simple videos as, as I do. <laughs> And these days the computers are so powerful, so you don't have to experience any lag or anything. I think it's the best time ever to get started doing videos. So if you are intrigued by this idea to start a YouTube channel with your photos in it, I really encourage you to try it. I mean, worst case is you make a couple of videos and get bored and uh, then at least you know what it entails uh, and uh, how it feels to make videos. But for me, I find it so very enjoyable to make YouTube videos. It's the most fun thing I've ever done. If you want to really succeed, uh, get a lot of uh, followers, I recommend you to do some kind of tutorials. On YouTube, people want to learn stuff. They want to get tips on how they can do their photography. So uh, maybe make a video with your best photos and give some advice on how you took them and let that be your first video and then go from there. It's a lot of fun and it's not as hard as you think. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and good luck with your video editing. <laughs>